the type of association between high altitude and endemic goiter okay two factors two variables are there so how it is associated with each other okay the options are like direct indirect and spurious okay one to one casual association okay now if you look at this one they are basically association based question so association is basically of three types one is direct or casual association indirect and spurious association for example if x is a risk factor or whatever the variable if it directly leads to disease it is called direct association for example i will give with example okay. uh, tobacco is directly leading to increased lung cancer so it is direct association another one example is like staph infection in with affected milk or something dairy products it is causing diarrhea to the patient so it is like direct association what is indirect association direct association it is a one to one like relationship in this extra one intermediate is coming okay for example here in the question they have given high altitude and endemic goiter high altitude is how come high altitude will relate to endemic goiter okay due to high altitude the iodine iodine level iodine level in the soil or whatever they are taking what water they are taking no it is so reduced level so in this high altitude leads to iodine level is reduced the iodine level reduced will leads to endemic goiter so there is an intermediate factor involvement this such type of association is called indirect association coming to the spurious for example x is some particular factor it may leads to y also it may leads to disease also but what they will state means y is somewhat related to d but in this both the thing are not directly related we will see how it is for example some odd example we will see now for example taking a selfie near a falls will leads to increased death by drone maybe if uh, selfie increasing selfie are directly related to increased death near by drowning okay but it no way it is directly related maybe he may be careless so he is taking selfie and it may lead to death by drowning near felby but stating that these two are highly related is it's like a spurious kind of relation coming to this one second one ice cream and shark attack see how they will state means they, they actually it is like a spurious uh, association no relation statistics like exist okay like increased ice cream scale sales leads to increased shark attack how it is possible for example increased temperature so what people tends to do they will take increased ice cream increased temperature will leads to shark to come near to the sea so okay to get reduced temperature in such cases it might possible like the but there is no co uh, reason exists between increased ice cream scale and increased shark attack i think this is the best example to understand for spurious relation now another one thing like increased ice cream and increased corona cases how come ice cream shell will leads to corona case maybe uh, same as usual like uh, temperature is rising they will take increased ice cream due to temperature is rising they are going to some have fun in a, a beach or something so increased the crowded area or something so increased ice cream does not directly or indirectly related to corona but there is a some kind of relation exists between thing but it is not a true relation it is kind of false or bogus thing okay such kind of uh, is called association is called spurious association now coming back to our question here type of association between high altitude so as i told you high altitude right high altitude does not directly cause goiter what it will lead to reduced iodine so this reduced iodine will leads to goiter and then goiter will leads to adenoma thyroid adenoma okay so so the, they will generally say the high altitude is, leads to goiter but actually there is an intermediate factor that is reduced iodine is a factor hiding in between these things so such kind of association is called indirect association so here the answer is indirect association we have seen what is direct and spurious causation also one to one is also kind of related to direct association